All right, this video we're gonna walk through, not walk through, because honestly I'm gonna be discovering this stuff myself too, because I don't fully know this car. Um, but anyways, um, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna go through this screen and see what's all in here. Um, here's your controls. Uh, you can open the front, you can open the trunk, you can lock your car, open the charge port. Um, here you can adjust your mirror, so if you click that, you can click right or left, and then you use this dial right here to adjust them, um, in or out or sideways. Uh, and then we go to steering, same thing, you use this, and it moves it up or down, or in or out. Um, you got your wipers, set to auto right now set to auto I'm assuming you use this yep use that pretty much gonna use these knobs on the steering wheel for everything you lock your windows you can raise your suspension all right um, you can fold in the mirrors unfold turn the display I kind of wish all the models did this because when I test drove the Model 3, you know, it, it doesn't do this. Um, but that's kind of a neat thing because I like, you know, if you're driving, it's nice to have it facing you. Uh, you got your glove box, so you hit this and that opens up. That's one of those things that I'm like, all right, is it more convenient to just have a button? You know, like, are you really going to lose that simplicity look? child lock glove box next is your pedals and steering acceleration insane sport chill drag strip mode steering it's in sport mode i keep it in sport mode because i'm used to driving that mustang over there so i like it in sport mode um suspension you can go very high and i don't think you can really see it on camera but it's raising it up um and then we can lower it And then you can do comfort mode, auto, sport, advanced. If you do advanced, you can control your handling and your ride comfort. Just keep it on, I just keep it on sport. Charging, we are at, I don't even know, what is this, 50% with 180 miles. You open your charge port, you can set your max amps you want going to the vehicle. That just you know if you're sleeping at night you could probably put it down at like 30 and uh you could save the health on your battery a little longer uh you can schedule your charge times it's similar i had a mach -E. it's similar to that you can schedule stuff um autopilot auto cruise control it's got the auto steer i've tested it out when you turn your blinker on it switches lanes it's pretty neat because um, this is my first time in a Tesla or driving a Tesla, so that was pretty cool. It does seem to have the full self-driving, but it's saying it needs an update. Um, and then this is just like your blind spots and your speed limit. Um, so when you set cruise control, it'll go five above the speed limit. So like you do like three. Um, yeah, and when it when the light turns green, if you're at a red light and it turns green, it'll beep at you. Um, it'll set off this ding to let you know it turned green so you can go set your locks uh, I'm not walk away door lock you do your lights front fog this has rear fog lights I guess I'm gonna have to look at that um, ambient lights I'm assuming that's the daytime running lights uh, dome lights you can turn those on Auto turn signals, auto cancel, auto high beam, headlights after exit. Uh, headlights are on auto. Your display, you can make it dark. You set to auto. Uh, display tilt, center right. Screen, screen clean mode. I'm not going to hit it, but I'm assuming that's where it just freezes the screen so you can wipe it down. Um, settings trips 
your navigation, trip plan, or online route. Safety. Sentry mode is on, which I saw that last night because my girlfriend tried to get into the car while it was locked. Um, and I saw it. It started recording. Um, speed limit mode. I'm not going to turn that off because this is a demo vehicle and I don't want to send them on alert. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to not gonna do that uh, service tires you can adjust oh, okay you can adjust your headlights I don't know that car wash mode so these electric cars you gotta put it in car wash mode if you go through an automatic car wash because you will ruin the uh, the motors if you have it uh, there's not a neutral on this car um, I know it says neutral right here, but car wash mode puts it in full neutral so you don't ruin the uh, engines on this car. Um, software updates. I think there is a software update, uh, but obviously this isn't my car, so I don't know how to do that. Um, to start this car, you literally get in, you put the key here, or I guess if you have your phone, um, and you tap this brake, and that pulls up this. You go into drive or you can go into reverse and it shows you down here. It's not lighting up right now, but there's an R right here that should light up. And then you have these cameras. So you have your backup camera and your side mirror cameras um, and then put it in park. You just tap this. And the weird thing about this car that would have to get some taken used to, um, take some getting used to is uh, to shut this car off. All you do is you take this key, you get out of the car, close the door and it shuts off. Um, that's it uh, your AC you tap that and you just control where you want your air to go by this you can set stuff to auto like I have auto AC on right now oh it does have it does have heated steering wheel I was trying to figure that out the other day it does have heated seats looks like it has cooled seats oh yeah okay so cool Let's set that to cooled seats we're gonna test those out see how that is um, auto AC is on to adjust the fan right here obviously but we're gonna have auto um, so you have auto low auto medium auto high you turn auto off and you get these you get this so I'm just gonna leave it on auto medium because it's kind of warm out and then to adjust this you can touch this arrow by that and you can drag this and you can split it so your passenger doesn't have to freeze out. Um, and you got your camp mode, dog mode. You can control the rear as well. Um, and then the rear, actually, they have their own stuff. So, so they can come back here and they can watch movies and everything. My allergies are bad, so bear with me. You got your phone set up, so I'm not going to show what's on my phone. Uh, this is radio. Your cameras. You can have your cameras on while you're driving, which is kind of nice. And then you have defrost, uh, your seat settings, dash cam. Oh, so you can completely... This is what the rear looks like. This is pretty much showing the screen, the rear display. Uh, you have your calendar. You have messages. That's kind of cool. Zoom. You have your arcade, so you can play games and stuff. Uh, theater mode, so you have Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, all that. Tesla tutorials. You have the toy box, which is cool. Like you can do the whoopee cushion. You can make music. Boom box, which puts music on the outside of the car, I guess. Your light show. You can change the color of the display car. Um, and you have just all these little things in here. It's kind of neat. And then, I mean, you have your normal radio. Yeah, I mean, that's really, that's all 
there's not a whole lot in the screen that's all of it and then like you got your your wipers right here you hold that down and it sprays you got your voice control so you can give it commands um, if you tap this this is your cruise control so you push this in your horn your light control you actually hold this down to turn your brights on and then you have your blinkers so like if you turn your blinker on it pops up the uh, blind spot camera and the blinker shuts off automatically too when you switch lanes um, but that's that is everything in the uh, in the screen so uh, I'm gonna end the video there if you could like and subscribe and help me out I'd appreciate it because I'm trying to build my YouTube channel up you know and review more cars or test drive more cars um, so it really helped me out if you guys could subscribe I'd appreciate it but catch you next time